Hi everyone, it's me, Sweet, Short and Sweet. Just wanted to give everyone a really, really quick update on a little bit of progress that I've made this week. Um, for anybody who hasn't seen any of my other videos, I started with my whole weight loss surgery process on May 6th, which is when I had my consultation with the surgeon. And between now and then, today's May 24th, I've just been trying to be really diligent about getting all my appointments set up, following up, phone calls, all those different things. And so far, as far as my pre-op work goes, I've had my upper GI ultrasound, my abdominal ultrasound, my chest x-ray, and today I had my visit with the nutritionist. Uh, and fortunate for me, my insurance company, which is AmeriHealth, I'm in New Jersey, uh, they only require one session with a nutritionist um, uh, for approval. So I had that today. Um, the session went pretty well. It was about one hour, if that, maybe 45 minutes or so, 50 minutes. Um, and I really have to say that the dietitian didn't tell me a whole lot that I didn't already know. I mean, like anybody who's watching this video, I have watched so many YouTube videos. And so... I've just learned so much from that alone in terms of portion sizes and what you can eat and the stages of eating. Um, so there wasn't a whole lot of new information that I got, but it was good nonetheless. It gave me a lot of handouts, stuff that I really need to read through, um, some specific product recommendations for um, vitamins or protein shakes or protein drinks and all these different things. So I'll be reading through that stuff between now and the end of the week. Um, let's see. That's really it. Oh, wait. That's not it. There are like three like major bombshells that the dietitian dropped on me today. Um, and I have to say that in all the YouTube videos that I've watched, I have not heard anyone talk about this. Okay, the first thing that really just broke my heart into a million little pieces was that she told me that after the surgery, for the rest of my natural life, I will never be able to have carbonated beverages again. What? You gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I've never heard anybody say this on any of these videos. <sighs> I don't drink a whole lot of carbonated things, but I am a Pepsi girl. And every now and again, I like my nice ice cold Pepsi, especially with the summer coming up and my yearly glass of champagne on my birthday. So that was like a bitter pill to swallow. I'm just being a little dramatic right now, don't mind me. And then, um, what else was there? There, oh, there was the thing about the breads and the pastas, and I'm really not going to be able to tolerate that a whole lot. And then the whole drinking water with meals. Like, you can't drink water 30 minutes before a meal or after a meal. I'm really curious to know how that works out, like, in real life. Like, do you, are you really able to plan that out that way? And what happens if you don't? So, if anybody could shed some light on this for me, if you've had your surgery... Please, especially that carbonated beverage thing is really killing me and hurting my feelings right now. I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things, the, all this extra 100 pounds of fat on my body is probably doing a lot more to kill me. But I'm just going to complain about it for a little while. I'll get over it. But really, if someone would comment or send me a message or something, this will let me know, like in real life, how that really works out with the carbonated beverages, the breads and pastas, and the whole 30-minute water rule. Please, I'd like to know. So I guess that's it. I don't have much more to say. Next week I'll be updating again because I have lots of appointments set up for next week. All of my pulmonologists, cardiologists, every other ologist that's on my list to visit. I schedule most of those appointments for next week. So I will be trying to do an update next week to let you know how all of those went. So until then, everybody take care and be well. Bye.